Well, they're getting near the promised land, and Israel is still murmuring. They're very thirsty because they haven't had anything to drink for several days, and it was very similar. It's very similar to Texas weather over there. So they were very thirsty, and they murmured against Moses, and Moses went to God and said, God, what do I do with these people? And the Lord said, well, if you'll go down here and smite this rock, water will come out. And so Moses goes down there, and he takes that rod, and he smites that rock, and water comes gurgling out enough to water two million people. It was an incredible miracle. And that lasted for a couple of days until the jugs all went dry. They went back to Moses and said, Moses, we're thirsty again. And they're complaining, they're murmuring, just simply got on Moses' nerves. And he, well, he went to the Lord again. The Lord said, this time don't smite the rock, speak to the rock. But Moses was upset and he just wasn't in a mood to talk. He was in a mood to hit something. And he walked out there and he said, you rebels, how long will I suffer you? And he smote that rock again. And guess what happened? Water came forth. Why? Because Moses had been such a wonderful servant and he was God's chosen leader. And so God supported him even though he disobeyed in that instance. Water came forth, but God says, Moses, you shouldn't have done that because you smote the rock instead of speaking to it. You're not going into the promised land. So in this particular passage of Scripture, we see Moses going. God says, I'll let you look in. He takes him up to Mount Nebo. I've stood there a couple of times. It looks over the Jordan Valley toward the city of Jerusalem. On a clear day, you can actually see the steeples of the churches of Jerusalem with the naked eye 70 miles away because Mount Nebo is like this and it's all valley and then Jerusalem is on a mountain over there. It's amazing with binoculars you can see it with no problem. Furthermore, as Moses stood there, the first thing he saw was a little dark patch where there were underground springs, a place called Jericho. And over to the left of Jericho, he saw the Dead Sea. So Moses went up there, and he looked, and the Lord said, well, let's read the scripture. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountain of Nebo to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And the Lord said unto him, this is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. One reason, you smote the rock. Another reason, you're tired. And I've got a better land for you anyway. And it's time for a change of leadership. And God knew all those things. So Moses stood looking in that promised land. I just imagine there were tears sort of streaming from the corners of his eyes. He had lived with this promise 80 years at least now. He looked over there. The wind blew through his hair. He looked down at Jericho, and they said, Thy will be done. I'm okay. 